بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد We've been discussing a lot about taqwa Allah Azza wa Jal having fear of Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala but it's important for us also to know the mahala taqwa the place of taqwa Allah Azza wa Jal where is taqwa and taqwa as the Sheikh mentioned Sheikh Abdul Razak and coming from of course first and foremost from the Nasus from the text, the Quran, and the Sunnah of the Prophet wasallam, letting us know that taqwa, the asal of taqwa is in the heart. And the Prophet wasallam, said, At-taqwa ha huna, wa yashiru ila sadrihi thalatha marrat. The Prophet wasallam, said, Taqwa is in here. And he pointed to his chest three times. And in another hadith, the Prophet ﷺ said, Inna fi jizid mudghatan. Ida salahat salaha jizid kullu. Fi ida fasadat. Wa ida fasadat fasada jizid kullu. Ala wa hiya qal. Kama qala Nabi ﷺ. The Prophet ﷺ said, in the body is a morsel of flesh. If it is sound, the whole body is sound. And if it is filthy or sick, then the whole body is sick. Barely it's the heart. Letting us know that taqwa Allah although we can see it exhibited on the limbs, of course, because all of those things are made up, make up an iman. That it is, iman is what? It's based on, it's what's in the heart, the asal of iman, as well as the limbs, you know, the deeds you do, the actions you do with your limbs, and your tongue, what you speak about, and what you say. All of these things are comprised of iman. And likewise, taqwa Allah Azza wa Jal, but the place of taqwa, the only way you really know about someone's taqwa, and even that we won't be able to know and judge that, but the measurement comes from what's in their heart, not their outward appearance. Their outward appearance can, they can appear to be a person of taqwa. You see, mashallah, if he, uh, as a man, a believing man, you see he has a big beard. You see that his, his uh, clothing is above his ankle in, in accordance with the Islamic sharia. And possibly, perhaps you may see nur on their face. You may see light on their face. That that they could be uh, that they're a person of of a lot of ibadah. You know, you see this a, a lot of times with many of the scholars. Some of the scholars you see, you can tell, and they're known for their ibadah, worshiping Allah. You see it in their face, Subhanallah. So those are outward signs, which can be evidence of taqwa in the heart, but. The asal of taqwa, as the Prophet ﷺ said, at taqwa hahuna, that it's in here. And he pointed to his chest three times. And in the other one, the Prophet ﷺ said, Allah wa hiya qalb, that verily this morsel of flesh, that if it's sick, the rest of the body will be sick, and if it's healthy, the rest of the body will be healthy, it's the heart. Letting us know that that's the asal. The asal, the origin of taqwa, is in the heart, and we cannot really truly measure someone's taqwa. But all we can make our judgments is on outside appearances. So if we see that a person is a person of sinfulness, they're drinking alcohol, they're committing zina, they're doing all kind of bad things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited, when we know their taqwa is little. Because they're, they're, they're outwardly sinning. Outwardly sinning is the opposite of taqwa. Taqwa is adhering to the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And avoiding the prohibitions. That's taqwa Allah azza wa jal. So when you see someone outwardly doing sin, there's no doubt you can make a judgment and say, hey, this person's iman is weak. You can see that. That's clear. That means their taqwa is weak. Because there's no way 
You could say a person's taqwa and their iman is high, that their God-fearfulness is high, and they're doing sinfulness openly. That's the opposite of taqwa. That negates taqwa. There's, it, that's impossible. And that goes back to what we're discussing, that taqwa, as the Prophet Salawatul Rabbi wa Salamu Alayhi said, a taqwa ha huna wa yashiru ila sadrihi thalatha marrat. He said that taqwa is, in, is here, and he pointed to his chest three times, letting us know that that's the place of taqwa. And we ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses us to be better than what the people think we are as far as a state. May Allah bless us to be better than that. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of all of our sins. And may Allah bless us to have clean hearts full of taqwa and iman. And may Allah bless us to die in that state. May Allah bless us to die as Muslims, as believers, as people strong in iman. Not just as Muslims, but may Allah bless us to be die as believing, strong believers. And we ask Allah the Almighty to forgive us of our sins and bless us with khair. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasan wa fil akhirati hasan wa qina adhab al-nar. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.